Hello everyone, my name is Tom Stark and thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'd like to do a tutorial on how to use Canva 2.0 to create your own business card. One thing I love about Canva is that I can create um, branded fonts, branded colors, uh, uh, a branded logo, or have uh, someone else do it like Fiverr.com, but I can use that same material in any document that I might be creating. So if I'm doing an ebook or if I'm doing a presentation or I'm doing something else and I want to have my branded color, my branded image, uh, font and all that good stuff, then I can just use it. So I find Canva 2.0 to be very user friendly in that regard. Today we are going to focus on creating a business card using Canva. But as we get started, I want to invite you to click on the subscribe button below, click on the notification button right next to it or the notification bell so that you can receive content each time we put something out. And uh, anyway, but we're going to go for it. Thank you so much for doing that. Today, as I mentioned, we're going to create a business card and we're going to start with this. I've already logged into my Canva account and I'm going to click on create a design. And you'll notice immediately what popped up is this menu right here. And so you notice in Canva I can do Instagram posts, Facebook posts. And again, because I have branded colors or branded fonts, I can use that in any of these things if I so choose. Uh, we're going to scroll down a little bit and here we are with the business card. So I'm going to click on it. A standard business card is 3.5 inches by 2 inches. And you'll notice on the upper left that there are a number of templates that other people have created. They're free, they're intended to go out uh, for us, for people to use, and they're all right here. So we're going to scroll through a number of these. Um, the ones that are marked free are all marked with that free tag. And we're going to simply scroll down and see what we can find and see if there's something that uh, that's going to be quick, clean. Well, here we go. So I like this particular one here. It's a two-sided two business card. Uh, obviously a front and a back. We're going to click on that green life and uh, we're then going to click into it and you see how it automatically populates directly into uh, the three and a half by two format that's set up. It just kind of repaginates right to how you want it to look. Uh, I don't particularly like this color green and so I want to change the background color. The way to do it is you click up here and you see the document colors that have already been created by the author of this template. I'm going to click on this uh, plus sign and where we're going to go is to a color picker. And we're going to go up here and you can see how quick and easy it is to come up with a different color for what we're trying to do. I don't, I kind of like the overall hue of that, but not quite the color. So going down to this uh, tab here, we're going to look into add a little bit of blue to it. And it's as quick and as easy as that. So uh, you may or may not like that particular color. That one I find interesting. And so it's something I would consider for my business card. Now we're going to click inside the text box. And here we notice a couple things. That the font that they use is a copper Hewitt heavy. Um, so I, if I wanted to change the font, I'd click on the down arrow. And it's going to give me, eventually, it will give me a lot of <laughs> font options. If I knew which one in particular, uh, I use Ubuntu quite a bit. If I wanted that, I could just copy it. For our purpose right now, I'm going to leave the font size as it is, or the, uh, the font type as it is. I am a little concerned about the size of the font. This is set at 20 point, and I have, uh, I'm going to put in my business name, because the business name is a little long. Oops, not health and wellness. Health and marketing solutions. So you'll notice a couple things. One is, is that because it's 20 font, it takes up quite a bit of space on the business card. And I'm not sure I like that. The second thing is that it's right justified. And I can tell that uh, up here uh, in the alignment portion of the menu. And, uh, and I understand why that it's right justified. I think that it should be the way it would be. However, I don't like the way this S overhangs and I'm not able to do a whole lot with res resizing that. So we're going to try to center justify and I think that looks a little bit better, but it's still fairly big uh, on the screen. So I am going to change the font size to a little smaller 
and I think uh, we're going to do a couple things with that. Um, again, I'm going to go inside the text box, and we're going to go to the spacing bar. So I am going to do show you a couple things. The first is increase it. And what I want you to notice, aside from the fact that the letter spacing is increasing, the text box itself is not changing. It's not getting any bigger. So from an edit point of view, I can see quickly and easily uh, how it's going to appear on screen, and I won't have to re worry about re-editing the placement of the text box at a future point because everything is contained within the box itself. I am also wanting to change the line height. And so we're going to change the line height a little bit. We get down. Here you'll notice that the size, the depth of the box gets a little bigger. And I'm okay with that uh, because we have a lot of space above and below uh, the text. So I'm not worried about it not copying, not uh, when it gets, goes to the printer. So it's real simple, real easy. If you remember, we started with 20 point. And for the size of text that the uh, template creator had, it works. For what we're doing, though, I need something a little smaller. And so we went with 14, but I feel like it's still readable, clean, easy. Uh, I am not a landscaping service, so we are going to change that. And what we're going to put in there is an all-in-one health. Now, I, health and wellness uh, consultant. So there's a number of things that I do in the health and wellness industry. Some of its benefits, some of its products, uh, but there's a number of things that my wife and I do. So I feel like uh, this encaptures a little bit more uh, of what I want. And if I had a tagline, uh, which I do, I could put the tagline in here instead. Uh, but for our purpose right now, health and wealth, yeah, we're going to get rid of the wellness. I don't like that. And uh, we're going to center justify that as well. And there we go. It's as simple as easy as that. Now for the second page, it's pretty simple. We're going to, there's two ways to do it, but for our purposes, we're going to simply click on add new page and notice that the document color that we created populated through, but we're going to click on the second side of the business card. And because this was formatted in an all white color, uh, that's what will dominate the back. We won't see the background color at all. Uh, I will tag Jonathan Patterson in this, but I'm I'm going to put in my name just to show you how easy it is. Uh, we're also going to go to uh, the color that we created up here, uh, the document color. We're going to do the same thing down here. Um, business and health coach. We'll just try that uh, for quick and easy. Again, we're going to go up to the colors. I'm going to change the color. If I wanted to change the font, I'd be able to do that. But for our purposes right now, I don't, you know, we don't need to do that. I do want to change the color of the text below. So we're going to make that black. And it's really, it's quick and as simple. It's easy as that. Everything is already formatted and it's ready to go. With my mobile number, sometimes I'll put the mobile number in. Sometimes I'll put a Google number. Uh, depends on the purpose of the card where I'm going with it. Sometimes I will, I rarely put my address because I work at home. I don't necessarily want my home address out there for the world to see. What I will frequently do is list three items, my website, my email address, and a social media profile. In this case, typically I put in my Facebook fan page or business page, and I have that as the fourth item. And the way this particular document is laid out, there's plenty of space for my Facebook fan page uh, information to go in this line right here. So it's quick, it's easy to do. The other thing that happens is that once we've created all this, I simply want to hit the download. And, um, and you'll notice a couple things. If I want to order directly through Canva, I can do that. I can place that order right here. But it's going to save this particular document in a PNG format which is really good because when I go to send this off to my local printer or Vistaprint or wherever I'm going to send it to, because it's in a PNG format, it's in an image format, and they can just automatically populate that onto the paper that they are using. It's very simple, very easy to use. 
I am not going to hit the download button here right now because the, my download folder will open up and you don't necessarily need to see all that. But I hope you can see how quick and easy this is to just take something that's already created. You don't have to recreate the wheel. You simply have to find a template that kind of matches what you want and then you're able to edit it very quickly, very seamlessly. The other thing I want to show you, and we're going to get out of here for a minute, is that this entire page is uh, everything is grouped together. So if I move, uh, if I move this, everything goes up, everything goes down. Everything is kind of linked together. I can unlink it by ungrouping, clicking that. And the reason I want to do that here is that I don't particularly like this image. So I am, I've ungrouped it. I want to now remove this image. Oh, come on, get out of there. <laughs> It's not moving. Yeah, there's two ways to do this, but it's not moving, and I don't know why. Well, there we go. So that's going to go off screen. Now I'm going to go to the elements section. If I had uh, a logo, well, I do have a logo that's in my uploads, but I don't want to use that right now. For the moment, I'm simply going to go to the, their elements section. You have all these free photos graphics you can scroll down a little bit get a quick look at what's here in this case they have something for food and because I do a lot in health and wellness and nutrition uh, and particularly in organic products I like this particular image I'm going to put it in there slide it over and I want you to notice a couple things and the first is, is that red box that is around the entire text field and the reason for that is that that is the box where all of your information needs to go you're not going to run into a problem with the printer if things get off aligned a little bit. Everything within this box will print safely and easily onto uh, your business card. And the second thing is the, the dotted arrows, dotted line that goes up and down. This tells me that the image is justified to the center. Uh, if I change the size of the image, I can move it around again. And again, it's all justified to the center where all the text is justified. Um, so it's quick and it's easy and it's um, it's just that simple. Anyway, I hope you found value in this content here today. Again, my name is Tom Stark. Please hit the subscribe button below. Also click the notification button so you can receive more information as we put it out there. And thank you very much and have a wonderful day.